Good morning and welcome. My name is Reverend Gilbraham Jr. and I'm one of the associate ministers here at Ebenezer Baptist Church. And once again, it is my pleasure to welcome you to our online worship experience. I have the pleasure of introducing our pastor, Pastor Gilbert S. Ham Sr. He's gonna be sharing the message this morning. He is different. I know you're gonna enjoy the message, so you wanna go ahead and grab a friend, and grab a coworker, Grab a family member and let them know that the word of God is about to be preached. You know what time it is. Let's go.
Those of you who can, will you please stand for the reading of God's Word. 
I invite your prayerful meditation to the book of Philippians, chapter number 2, verses 5 through 11. Philippians, chapter number 2, verses 5 through 11. If you have it, say amen. Amen. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore, God also have highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. You may be seated. Speak, Lord, and help us to listen, for I ask it in your name, amen. Verse 8, and being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. With the help of the Holy Spirit, I would like to preach on this subject He is different. He is different. If you don't mind, look down your pew and tell your neighbor, he is different. Jesus is uniquely different. Jesus is uniquely different. He does not fit into the same category with anybody else. Not with Washington, or Lincoln, or Churchill, or Gotti, or Mohammed, or Buddha, or Confucius, or Shakespeare, or even the Pope. 
Jesus does not, does not fit into the same category. And although, and although Abraham and Moses and Joshua and Samuel and David and Elijah and Ezekiel were all great men of God. Jesus does not fit in their category either. He is indeed one of a kind. I believe that Mary, his mother, knew that he was different. I believe that John the Baptist knew that he was different. I believe that Lazarus, along with Mary and Martha, knew that he was different. I believe that the woman who had suffered with an issue of blood for so many years knew he was different. I believe that the man who had laid by the pool of Bethesda for 38 years knew that he was different. I believe that the multitude who, who partook of the fishes and bread knew that he was different. I believe that the doctors in the temple when he was only 12 years old, knew that he was different. I believe that the Pharisees and the Sadducees knew that he was different. I believe that Zacchaeus, the tax collector, knew that he was different. I believe that the temple priests and scribes knew that he was different. I believe that the 10 leopards who were healed knew that he was different. I believe that Barnabas, who had been blind, knew that he was different. I believe that the demon-possessed man, who had dwelt among the tombs, knew that he was different. And I believe that even the centurion who stood by the cross when Jesus died knew that he was different. For he declared, truly, this was the Son of God. Matthew chapter 27 and verse 54. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be sitting down in a few minutes. Yes, Jesus is different. Now, because Jesus is different, is different, point number one, I cannot help but believe that when the people heard him teach, they knew that he was different. For he taught with divine authority. He taught absolute truth and nothing but the truth. He taught 
so that both the learned and the ignorant could understand him. He taught so that both the young and the age could clearly understand. He taught with love and compassion toward all. He taught with no selfish motive or purpose in mind. And he taught about things that nobody else knew anything about. For an example, heaven and hell. Yes, the people knew that it was different, but different because of what he taught. And they never heard anything like that before. Now in John chapter 7, verses 45 and 46, it states, Then came the officers to the chief priests and Pharisees, and they said unto them, Why have ye not brought him? The officers answered, never man woo, spake like this man. Jesus was different. Pray with me, if you please. Point number two, I can't help but believe that when the people felt his presence, they knew he was different. For they had never felt anything like that before. For his presence, listen now, somebody say his presence. His presence brought peace to the troubled. His presence brought joy to the sad. His presence brought comfort to the lonely. His presence brought faith to the faithless. His presence brought assurance to the anxious. His presence brought courage to the fearful. And his presence also brought hope woo, to the hopeless and the despairing. No, 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 no. They had never felt anything like that before. Therefore, they knew Jesus was different. Pray with me, if you please. Point number three, I cannot help but believe that when the people witnessed his glory, they knew that he was different. For they had never witnessed anything like that before. For his glory, somebody say his glory. For his glory was greater than that of the lilies of the field. His glory was greater than that of the splendor of the rainbow. His glory was greater than that of the morning dew. His glory was greater than that of the star-studded night. His glory 
was greater than that of the blazing sunset and was greater than that of Solomon's glorious temple. Peter, James, and John witnessed his glory on the Mount of Transfiguration. And they fully realized and quickly understood that there was no other glory comparable to his glory. Yes, he was indeed different. If you don't mind, look down your pew and say yes. Jesus was indeed different. Point number four, I cannot help but believe that when the people observed his power, they knew that he was different. For they had never seen anything like it before. For he had power over the roaring wind. He had power over the raging waves. He had power over the satanic demons. Oh Lord, he had power over the fleshly temptations. Yeah, he had power over the dreaded diseases. He had power over the grass of the grave. Oh Lord, and he even had power over the soldiers who came to arrest him in the garden of Gethsemane. Oh Lord, John chapter 18 and 6 declares, and as soon as he has said unto them, I am he, they went backward and fell to the ground. Oh Lord, Yes, he was different because of his power and the people knew it. Oh Lord, point number five, I cannot help but believe that when the people beheld his wisdom, they knew he was different. Oh Lord, because they had no never beheld anything like it before. Oh Lord, he knew how to handle every crisis. He knew how to solve every problem. He knew how to answer every question. He knew how to respond to every situation. He knew how to meet every need. He knew how to relieve every burden. Oh Lord. And he also knew how to judge every motive and judge it correctly. Yes, he was certainly unlike any other person who had ever walked upon the face of the earth. Oh Lord. And then finally, my brothers and sisters, I cannot help but believe that when the people received his touch, they knew that he was just had, that he just had to be different because they had never received anything like that before. Oh Lord, his gentle touch could calm 
shaky nerves. Oh Lord, his gentle touch could dry her salty tears. His gentle touch could strengthen her weak hands. His gentle touch, yeah, could bless her burden backs. Oh Lord, burden down backs. His gentle touch, oh Lord, could lift up the fallen. His gentle touch, yeah, could inspire the weary. And with his gentle touch, he could also warm the heart. Oh Lord, and as a matter of fact, there have been untold multitudes like you and me who have felt his divine touch. Oh Lord, and would gladly and quickly proclaim it. Yes, Jesus is different. Do I have any help in here? Do I have any witnesses in here? Can somebody right now tell me that Jesus has a gentle touch? Oh Lord, no wonder somebody said he touched me. Yeah, and he made me glad. He touched me and made me whole. Do I have any witnesses in here? Let me see you wave your hand. If Jesus touched you one day, somebody give him glory. Oh Lord, yes, Jesus is different. Do I have any help in here? I said Jesus is different. Different because of his mercy. Different because of his grace. Different because of his compassion. Different because of his love. Different because of his righteousness. Different because of his authority. And different because of his relationship. Well, to the Father. Yes, Jesus is still different. Do I have any help in here? I said Jesus is still different. Do I have any witnesses in here? Different because he is the lily of the valley. Different because he is the rose of Sharon. Different because he is the Alpha and Omega. Different because he is the beginning and the end. Different because he is the anchor, the anchor, the anchor for the soul. Different because he is the bright and morning star. Do I have any help in here? Different because he is the king of kings. Yeah, he is the Lord of lords. Different because he is the divine physician. Different because he is the good shepherd who gives his life for the sheep. Do I have any help in here? Different because he is the bread of life. Yeah, I heard him say, I am the living bread. Oh Lord, turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, Jesus is different. Come on, tell him, Jesus is different. Yeah, yeah, he's different because he is the living water. Yeah, he is the Prince of Peace. He is the Son of God. Yeah, he is the firstborn from the dead. Oh Lord, he is the Holy One. Do I have any help in here? He is the Lamb. He is the Lamb. He is the Lamb of God. Oh Lord, yeah, he 
he is the Kingsman Redeemer. Oh Lord, I heard him say, she is, yeah, the way, yeah, the truth and the life. No man, no woman, no boy or girl come to the Father but by me, yeah, turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, Jesus is different. Oh, Lord, turn to another neighbor, another neighbor, and tell them, Jesus, yeah, Jesus is different. Oh, Lord, and let me tell you, before I take my seat, let me give my testimony. I thank God. I thank God for his love. Do I have any help in here? I said I thank God for his love. Why, Pastor? I was sinking deep in sin. Far from the peaceful shore. Very deeply stained within thinking to rise no more but the master but the master but the master but the master of the sea heard my despairing cry from the waters yeah from the waters lifted me now I'm safe am I yeah love yeah love Love lifted me, yeah. Do I have any help in here? Love, 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 love lifted me when nothing, when nothing else could help, yeah. Love, glory, hallelujah. His love, do I have any praises here? His love. Do I have any worshipers here? His love, what did it do? Yeah, his love, his love lifted me. Yeah, his love, his love, his love lifted me. Do I have any lift up people in here? Let me see you say yeah. Let me see you say yeah. Come on. Praise him. Come on. Open up your mouth. If he lifted you up, yeah. Give him praise. Yeah. Now can somebody in this sanctuary help me? Help me. Help me. Give God some praise for his love. Yeah. 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 Jesus is different. There's no one like him. There's no one like him. And because he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also have highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus Every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father.
Yes, Jesus is different. He took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. There's nobody like Jesus. Nobody. Nobody like him. I'm going to ask everyone to please stand who can. We're going to extend the invitation. And maybe someone present under the ark of safety. You may come as a candidate for baptism, Christian experience by letter or by restoration. The Bible says that the day that you hear his voice, harden not your heart. There are many great churches here in Delaware. We're not asking you to join Ebenezer. But if the Spirit of God is moving you to come and join our fellowship, we want you to come. I want you to come and give me your hand and give God your heart. Is there one? Love lifted me. those of you who desire prayer will you will you please remain standing those of you who desire prayer will you please remain standing I'm going to ask my wife to come Mrs. Ham Mrs. Ham will you come will you come please and lead us in this prayer will you come yes Lord Love lifted me, yes it did, yes it did. Love lifted me. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes, you did. You did yes, allow any hurt, harm, or danger to come to us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you woke us up with a finger of love and you allowed us to dress ourselves and you allowed us to get in our cars and then come to the house of worship just one more time. And God, we just want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, glory to God. We thank you, God, because nobody could do it but you, oh God. Nobody. Yes, 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 yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, glory to God. And oh my God, we just come just one more time, oh God. We just come to just to talk to you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Oh God, a few of your believing children have come to just to just let you know how they feel. Oh God, we just come to just to say thank you, Lord. Oh God, thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh God, we just come to just to say thank you, Lord. Oh, yes. In the name of Jesus, and we just want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God, we thank you because we serve a God that hears and a, a God that knows everything. Yes, in the yes. Name of Jesus. Hallelujah, glory to God. We thank you, God, that we serve a God that when we can't even say a word, we can just wave our hand. Yes. Oh, yes. Lord, every tear of me, oh God, in the name of Jesus, because sometimes, Lord Jesus, in the midnight hour, we may have to cry, oh God. 
Yes. Yes, yes. Everything. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for your love, Jesus. You loved us so much, oh God. Yes, yes. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Yes. Call on you. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Oh, yes. 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 Oh, Jesus. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Ma, ma, ma. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that I'm never alone. I'm never no, alone. No, 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 no. Because you're always there. You're always, always. There. You're always, there. always there. Always. 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 Reach out and just touch her this morning. Yes, yes. Reach out and touch the Lord this morning. Yes, yes. Reach out and touch the Lord this morning. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. I just want to say thank you. Thank you. I just can't thank you enough, oh God, for all that you've done, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so we just bless your name, oh God. Yes, yes, yes. We just bless your name, oh God. We just bless your name, oh God. Yes, yes. We just bless your name, oh God. Yes. You said your name is above every name. Yes. Your name is above every name. Yes, yes. Your name. Your name. Hallelujah. Oh God, we love you this morning. We love you, Jesus. Yes. We love you this morning. We love you, Jesus. Mama, mama. And we thank you for your presence, oh God. Yes. Thank you for your power, Pastor, this morning, oh God. Thank you for using it, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. We love you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. Oh God, we command healing in his body, oh God. Yes. We command healing in his body, oh God. Thank you, God. In the name of Jesus, we command it to be so, oh God. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 Y
Yes. Thank you. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you, Sister Ham, for that fervent prayer. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so very, very much. Amen. Prayer works. Prayer works. What time is it, Ebenezer? It's giving time. Amen. Welcome back. I truly hope that you were encouraged and blessed by that message. And if you were encouraged, we just simply ask that you uh, leave us a comment and let us know how the word of God has impacted your life. If you've never accepted Christ as your personal savior and you would like to, I'd like to go ahead and share him with you. Just, just say this quick prayer with me. Dear Lord Jesus, I come to you asking for forgiveness, recognizing that I am a sinner, and I realize that you're the only one who can save me. I believe that you went to the cross and died for my sins, and I accept your free gift and I'm inviting you to come into my heart and save me. Ladies and gentlemen, if you just said that quick prayer, the Bible lets us know that you are saved. For Acts 16.31 says, And believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved and thy house. The next step is get connected to a Bible-believing and Bible-preaching church so that you can grow and your newfound faith. We invite you to stay connected with us on social media. We're on Facebook at EBC Wilmington. I want you to go ahead and click the follow button. We're also on YouTube at Ebenezer Baptist Church of Wilmington, Delaware. You want to go ahead and click that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you're notified each time that we upload content. You can also find us by the hashtag EBC Wilmington. If you're ever in the area, we invite you to come and worship with us. We're at 2200 North Claymine Street in Wilmington, Delaware. And we have taken every precaution to make sure that your worship experience is a safe experience. So on behalf of Pastor Ham, our official staff, family, and friends of Ebenezer Baptist Church, we say thank you for being a part of this worship experience. Continue to lift us up in prayer as we will continue to pray for you and your family. Until next time, take care, stay safe, and God bless.